News Watch with Marianne Zadra and Brian Parker. Good evening. Ottawa police are looking for an AIDS carrier who is said to have donated blood to the Red Cross, even though he knew he was an AIDS carrier. This is CHRO News. Early report. Here's Laverne Atkinson. Good evening. The federal government has had enough. This is the CHRO Early Report. Here's Kathy Cox. Good afternoon, I'm Rhonda London. Kathy Cox has the day off. CHRO Sports Late Night. Good evening and welcome to Sports Late Night. I'm David Battistelli. This is the CHRO Weekend Report. Here's Timothy Walker. Coming up on the CHRO Noon Edition, captured, Ottawa Carleton Regional Police nab another murder suspect. Good afternoon. A two-week-long manhunt in Ottawa is finally over. Hi, I'm Kathy Cox. Coming up on the CHRO Evening Edition, the referendum date is finally set. MPs must decide before midnight if they'll stay on the pension plan. And Paul Bernardo's lawyer can't afford to keep his client. How will government cuts affect legal aid? It's official. Jacques Parizeau today said Quebecers will go to the polls for the sovereignty referendum October 30th. I'm Rhonda London. Tonight on the Late Edition, if you're facing your day in court, you may not be able to get a lawyer for free. People could be going through the justice system without a lawyer in the near future. Coming up on the Weekend Edition, making an appearance, Santa Claus is spotted in downtown Pembroke. Hundreds lined the streets of Pembroke this morning to see everyone's favorite man in red. Coming up on Newsweek, setting a decision date. We'll soon know the fate of Pembroke's hospital. Good evening. Welcome to Newsweek. It is here that we bring you up to date on a week's worth of news in 30 minutes. Welcome to Sports Late Night. We've got a full lineup of highlights for you tonight. Coming up tonight on Sports Digest, the CJHL kicks off another season and the Pembroke Lumber Kings have a whole new look. The Montreal Expos are doing whatever it takes to win down the stretch and the local rafting team finishes sixth at the World Championships in Africa. Good evening, I'm Rhonda London, sitting in for Colin Trithui. 
Hi, I'm Kathy Cox. Coming up tonight on the Evening Edition, powerless to Mother Nature. The ice looks nice, but it's causing problems everywhere. The day after the big announcement, what does the future hold for Boeing of Arnprior? And a call for sweeping changes to Canadian policies on immigration. Good evening. It's a combination of the good, the bad, and the very ugly. People just couldn't uh, get out, and today's being spent mostly uh, digging themselves out. I don't think uh, there are magic bullets available to help people to, uh, to trim the weight off. It's not very technical, but uh, compared to this, this is the simplest form of the shed. Yeah. Live from the new RO, News 6 Ottawa, with Robert Maxwell, Caroline Renicott, Candace Rand. This is Ottawa News. Good evening. The big story tonight, digging out. It was no contest this week's two-day blizzard was the worst storm of the season by far. To honor the memory of Robert Burns, one of Scotland's famous poets. Live from the new RO, News 6 Ottawa, with James Hendricks, Leanne Lang, and the New 6 team. This is Ottawa's News. You know, the producers are still working Excellent. those hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the way it goes. Um, we, uh, we had, uh, you know, you have a lot to put together. I mean, for, for people on the air, it's not a, you know, it's not a long day at all. But for you guys, and you know, I don't know how you did it, uh, and, and still do it today. Well, what we you would spend the whole day not only working on the show itself, but the next day's show and the next week's show, and you guys were here forever. Well, what we loved about it was it was part. It was really close knit family. When you're up that early in the morning every day and you're creating something, yeah. it really creates that family atmosphere. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know for me, you were kind of like a big brother um, that we used to you know tease a little oh, look. bit. There's, there's the, ma uh, the mailbox. Yeah. Live from the new RO, this is Ottawa's News. Good afternoon, everyone. Parents with children in the Ottawa district are... Tonight. Freedom itself was attacked this morning by a faceless coward. Her. And freedom will be defended. Tonight. I don't think that we have seen anything as horrible as what happened this morning. Tonight. Following the World Trade Center incident this morning, all flights out of Ottawa Airport to the U.S. have been cancelled. Live from the new RO, this is Ottawa's News. Good evening. It is being called the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history. Well, when it gets cold and wet, people like to get away. They're anxious to head down to Cuba, Dominican, Florida. And with our direct flights from Ottawa, it's very popular. Tonight. We're planning for snow spree right now as well, which is our winter carnival. And typically, winter carnivals are obviously run outdoors, so it throws a monkey wrench into things, definitely. Tonight. It's a really good chance to see how everybody else plays from like the states and from here. Live from the new RO, this is Ottawa's News. Good evening. The big story in Ottawa tonight is the slushy, icy mess we woke up to today. Good evening. Tonight on the new RO, a heartwarming fundraiser at McKay United Church. Ringing in the new year Austrian style and big sales from the bad weather. Your news begins right now. Live from the new RO, this is Ottawa's News. A moving fundraiser in the capital tonight as a young Ottawa girl takes to the stage again to raise money for her own medical treatment. Good evening. Tonight on the new RO, Juno weekend kicks off with a bang. A winter wallop heads for the capital and the 67s hit the road for the playoffs. Your news begins right now. Live from the new RO, this is Ottawa's News. Tonight the countdown is on to Ottawa's first date with the Juno. Good evening, it's Saturday, April 10th, and here's what's making headlines tonight. 
Sens fever soars for Game 2 of the Battle of Ontario. Canadian troops settle in for a longer stay in Haiti. And kidnappers promise to release Japanese hostages in Iraq. Fresh off their Game 1 victory over the Leafs on Thursday, the Ottawa Senators and their fans are looking for an encore performance tonight. Good evening, it's Thursday, July 29th, and here's what's making headlines tonight. A warning for parents as backyard pool deaths double. There are some alarming new numbers tonight about summertime water tragedies. Now on News 6 Ottawa. New spaces for childcare in our province. This is News 6 Ottawa. Good afternoon. There is positive news for Ontario. Now on News 6 Ottawa. A man is charged with murder in connection with the stabbing deaths of his mother, father and sister. Jetsco employees pick up their final paychecks. And hundreds of thousands of anti-Syrian protesters take to the streets. This is News 6 Ottawa with Sandra Blakey and James Hendricks. Good evening. Police charge an Ottawa man with three counts of first degree murder. Now on News 6 Ottawa. A major police discovery in an abandoned building in the valley. This is News 6 Ottawa. Good evening. We begin in the upper Ottawa Valley tonight. That's where police are clearing a massive marijuana grow operation. Well, welcome back to H Channel oh, Morning. Yeah. This is A Channel News at 6. Good evening. You might call it a working spring break. Stephen Harper is in Mexico at this hour at his first summit with the leaders of the U.S. and Mexico. Tonight on A Channel News. Sweeping new measures for security in our skies. But will today's announcement from the federal government make you feel any safer as a traveler? I'm always looking over my shoulder and just wondering if we're going to get there safe and stuff like that. Well, I just wanted to die to be with her, but now, now I realize I have to go on. A killer still at large. Two years later, Ardith Wood's family still holds on to hope. Remembering the world's first atomic bomb attack, paying tribute to victims and praying for peace. This is A Channel News at 11. Good evening. What would it take to make you feel safer in the skies in our post 9-11 world? Hi, this is Jason from Orleans. This is A-Channel Live from your neighborhood. This is an A-Channel News special event, live from your neighborhood. Tonight broadcasting from Orleans. Here is Sandra Blakey. Isn't that a wonderful, wonderful sound? That is the Cumberland Community Singers joining us live here at Orleans Town Center. Welcome to a very special edition of A-Channel News at 6. All right, thank you, Sandra. Back to you in a moment. Good evening, everyone. The Harper government is in full-out damage control mode today over yesterday's firing of Foreign Affairs Minister Maxime Bernier. This is A Morning. Well, good morning, everybody. <laughs> How Very are early you? good morning. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you two. <laughs> good, good morning, morning Kurt. To you what are you doing morning. here? <laughs> good morning. We're not sure yet. This is A News at 11. A suburban Montreal Walmart store, a little girl, and the Ottawa man charged with kidnapping her. A man that was pulling her hair and uh, pulling her wrist saying, Come with me, come with me. A favorite target for robbers. 
and an owner that won't let them get the best of her. The last time when they left, they said to the guy, he working here, we'll be back again. Minimum support for maximum truck speeds. Why truckers don't like speed limiters on their rigs. Now you're going to have gridlock. Now you're going to have, you know, aggressive driving by the four wheelers, uh, road rage by the truck drivers. Expect to see a whole lot of sunshine this week. However, temperature wise, expect some very chilly temperatures. And I'll tell you all about it coming up. Good evening, I'm Tony Grace, a 35 year old man who lists his home as the Royal Ottawa Mental Health Center. Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to the Ottawa Valley for the 35th annual Bone Chair Cup. This is A News on the Road. This is A News at 6 on the Road. Tonight, broadcasting live from Eganville in the Ottawa Valley. Here is Sandra Blakey. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us on this chilly, windy winter night. This is an A News special event. Vote 2008. Good evening. Just 30 minutes until the polls close here in Ontario in what promises to be an exciting election night. Welcome to our special broadcast, Vote 2008. I'm Sandra Blakey. It's Friday, July 10th. Today, a shooting in Ottawa's West End. We had located one male who had suffered a uh, gunshot wounds to the leg. The Guns and Gangs Unit speaking to the victim and witnesses in the Caldwell Avenue shooting. And school may be out beyond the summer. They're asking for the world, and the world's not there anymore. Like, everybody else is cutting back. Contract talks break off. Catholic school teachers could be in a legal strike position next month. And Blues Fest goes country. Jason Aldean wows the crowd on the second night of Ottawa's biggest music festival. Good morning. CTV Morning Live starts right now. Welcome to CTV Morning Live, 6 a.m. on Friday. I know it. All right, so electronic to country yes. to hip-hop. Good morning. It's 6 o'clock on Tuesday, May 5th. I'm Leslie Roberts. And I'm Annette Gurner. CTV Morning Live starts right now. Today, waking up a sleeping economy. Crucial reopenings in Canada begin. Tables are all more than six feet apart, no more than 10 people in a group. While others hit restart on their reopen. We're pushing back the reopening of non-essential businesses in the Montreal region to May 18. But there is hope in Ontario. There's only so long you can hold back taxpayers from going to their cottages. As the Premier hints, good news is on the way. And while businesses open across the river, the Gatineau mayor says one item is still closed for business, the border. Ottawa is a hot zone, we're a cold zone, and we have to protect ourselves. How long the roadblocks on the bridges will stay. Plus, pressure to reopen city parks. Hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll be able to announce uh, something that allows more people to enjoy green space in our city. City staff and Ottawa Public Health working on a plan to open parks around the city. We'll speak to Mayor Jim Watson live this hour on what it could involve. You're watching CTV Morning Live. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to CTV Morning Live. Did you see that? Somebody getting their hair done? That's not in this province, though. That was Alberta. Hashtag NBS. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. Thanks for joining us here on the Saturday edition of CTV Morning Live. And uh, this is now the end of spring break for kids. Wrapping up. I always watch the new Arrow. It's Arrow. I was watching Arrow last night. It seems to be comprehensive. There's some interesting items that uh, keep up with the community. They are always about Ottawa. You get to know everything about Ottawa. And... I like the way the community events are focused. It's hip, it's current, it's fun. I think it's very uh, modern. I find it interesting. They're very friendly. That really appeals to me. I think it's great. 